Hello and welcome to Karnataka Muslims. We are pleased to have with us today a shining star in the field of physics, Asma Banu. Asma Banu has secured first rank in MSc Physics at the Bangalore University and her achievement is nothing short of remarkable. With an astounding seven gold medals to her name, her journey, her academic excellence serves as an inspiration to the aspiring physicists. We are pleased to have her here with us today to share her experiences and insights. Welcome to the interview. Can you uh, tell us how the interest in the subject started, when the interest in the subject started and how it went up to achieving seven gold medals in MSc? Yeah, actually uh, right from my childhood I was a bright student and my favourite subjects from my uh, childhood was science and math. So uh, from then I was very passionate about science because whenever we see uh, science is our environment, it's like a physical phenomenon which is uh, surrounded everywhere, like when, when we take from light to the uh, space, so everything is a physical phenomenon. When I, when I used to see this, I used to admire uh, so how uh, magical it is and how experimental and uh, we can study most of the uh, subject matters. So uh, from then it was my uh, subject of interest right from childhood. And then uh, when when I was in PU, uh, after PU uh, I, was, I was a medical aspirant too. But then uh, because of some reasons and uh, uh, short of coaching and all, uh, I went to a uh, degree. So uh, in Government Science College Bangalore, now it is called as uh, Rupatunga University. So uh, I took PME combination there, Physics, Maths and Electronics. Since I took Electronics because uh, I was already planned that in MSc I wanted to do Physics because it was my field of interest and uh, whatever it's there I wanted to uh, achieve in Physics. So uh, I was determined and if I take Chemistry, it was not so, uh, even it's a, a very vast subject and uh, interesting subject. But if I take Electronics, it is very related to Physics and and uh, it may help me to uh, uh, understand the uh, subjects uh, easily, very uh, easily and topics. So I uh, took electronics in uh, BSc. Uh, this helped me a lot in uh, MSc degree also to uh, score good marks. So I used to do experiments very easily because we already had electronics and physics both. So uh, it was very easy for me. So this is an uh, inspiration to take physics for me. What in specific in physics are you interested in? Uh, I am uh, no, actually my uh, uh, subject matter and uh, uh, my elective was condensed matter physics since uh, my field of interest was in nanotechnology and uh, material science. So uh, in MSc itself I took the specializations as the condensed matter physics and material science. So it will help me uh, to go further in research fields towards nano because now when this uh, very advanced in technology as the technology is increasing the size or the uh, uh, like dimension of uh, equipments or the devices uh, it's reducing like it's going towards nano and uh, very miniaturizing. So uh, for the advanced technology and for our uh, further future I decided to take nanotechnology, so uh, it's my uh, field of interest. Yeah. What motivated you to excel in academics, like at such high level? You scored, you got like seven gold medals. Yeah, yeah. How did you stay motivated throughout? Uh, right from beginning, my parents, uh, they were also uh, teachers, my dad and my mom. Uh, my dad was a uh, MSc Mathematics, so uh, he was my inspiration. He always used to motivate me, even my teachers and my uh, school uh, school teachers, my lecturers and my professors, everyone they have motivated me, they have inspired me. And whenever I studied a specific topic uh, and there was an uh, urge to learn more and more about that, this motivated me. Uh, so. Uh, by God's grace, I have, I'm here, I have achieved this. And it was my determination that I want to secure first rank because uh, uh, I was not recognized anywhere, like in my schoolings or in my uh, college and all. So right from first day of MSc, I was determined that uh, I, I have to get first rank. I, I didn't have any idea of gold medal or uh, something, but I wanted to be uh, like a tagline of uh, topper of physics department. It was an urge to uh, become, so uh, it motivated me a lot. It's so good to hear. Yeah. And uh, did you have to face any kind of challenges? Yeah. How did you overcome them? Yeah, actually during my MSc final sem and it was also a lockdown uh, since everyone known. And during my final sem exams, I, I lost my dad uh, just before a week of my exams. 
uh, and I was really not ready to face my examination because I was in autonomous college and to get seat in university you have to get top rank and uh, you have to get the highest marks so only two or three seats were allotted for university and I was really uh, like confused and uh, I didn't know how will I face this but then I remembered my mom needs me and even, even my dad's dream is that I, I have to achieve something I have to uh, uh, like be a professor even he was uh, uh, his dream was to me to become a professor or a scientist so that motivated me and uh, because of him his blessings I did it yeah so can you tell us uh, about any significant mentor who has impacted uh, in you scoring this yeah. well okay right from uh, like one who taught me alphabets Agatha ma'am, uh, right from her, so my all credits goes, goes to her, my school teacher. And then my science teacher when I was in primary school, uh, Varalakshmi ma'am, she is my favorite teacher and she is my mentor. She has been, uh, her, her way of teaching, her techniques, uh, that influenced me a lot to uh, go towards science. Then uh, when, I, uh, when I came to uh, PU and colleges, uh, Prasad Reddy sir, he is the uh, syndicate member of Rupadunga University now. He is like my godfather, like uh, he motivated me and he gave me a, a really bright education in uh, PU and all, uh, which gave me a strong foundation to uh, go towards physics and uh, in the college where I studied, uh, sir had motivated me and uh, uh, this helped me a lot and even in uh, degree college all my uh, lecturers like uh, uh, Guru Charan sir from electronics department Ravi sir and um, uh, from maths department uh, Vasundra ma'am uh, was my mentor and uh, she's really awesome and she her maths techniques her, uh, and every each and every lecturer there were uh, so inspiring for us so uh, this had helped me a lot and in uh, in MSc masters all my uh, lecturers I, I used to they are like uh, inspiration like to everyone all uh, every lecturer they have done lots of achievements and they have uh, written many lots of research papers and when we read those it's like inspiring uh, uh, such a nice topics they have done we can also do this so that inspired me a lot and now um, uh, Dr. Basura Jangdi sir he's my guide so I have got a PhD seat there uh, for nanotechnology and material science so uh, hoping for best to uh, just to publish a nice papers and with a new innovation and uh, to become a good scientist and uh, uh, in teaching field also is my uh, like we have to provide a quality education for our uh, future kids and nowadays no students are taking degree like everyone are going towards medical and engineering if it's like this then future teachers won't be there or any lecturers won't be there so they won't get quality education even though they have to become an engineer or doctor we teachers are required so uh, I inspire them like and I guide them uh, to get a quality education like that so can you highlight any uh, specific research papers or sources that you used for your study uh, like uh, in research papers almost uh, from uh, there are from different authors also we'll see many of the papers not like the specific papers uh, from um, uh, this journals and uh, uh, and specific book to mention which is very inspired for me is uh, uh, theory of everything mm -hmm. uh, which is the story of Stephen Hawking he's really the inspiration for me and uh, like we know everyone like Newton, uh, Isaac Newton, uh, Einstein, but they were all past, they were in past, but he was in our era. Uh, Stephen Hawking, he was in, and the topic he has invented Big Bang Theory, it's an amazing, like even I'll get goosebumps when I uh, read that. So it's an inspiration, uh, inspiration for me uh, for that, uh, that book. And, uh, and I was not so into many books or uh, any novels because I was completely concentrated towards uh, academics. So uh, most favorite topics are quantum mechanics, which is also a difficult one here, yeah, I know. Even if it exhausts, we have to be revising it, uh, we have to be doing it. And um, yeah, classical and quantum, everything, it's, it's amazing. Physics is amazing overall. Yeah, thanks. Um, can you tell us more about your future aspirations? Yeah, uh, in future now already have uh, got the seat. I'm waiting for the classes. So uh, in nanotechnology, uh, I'm uh, CMOS and uh, like ICs, integrated circuits, uh, which are like to miniature it more, and uh, even for uh, transparent conducting diodes and all these optical and uh, structural uh, properties of uh, thin films and metal oxides. And uh, my, I would like to do research in that topic. Uh, then uh, I want to become a scientist too. 
uh, inshallah in uh, isro <laughs> it's my uh, inspiration to like uh, it's an urge to become an, a scientist there like when we see chandrayaan 2 and 3 and all the live telecast and they are really like uh, motivation mm -hmm. and we can uh, receive that inspiration like even we have to work there when we have to identify as a scientist so uh, i want to become a scientist and also a assistant professor yeah that's my aim. And uh, apart from academics, uh, do you think, uh, are there any extracurricular activities that have uh, moulded your personality overall? Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, painting is my heart and uh, like art and uh, paintings and uh, sketchings, uh, they have uh, motivated me and also uh, we'll feel fresh when we do it. Uh, like uh, whenever it's sleepy or something, we have, I used to do that. So. Uh, that f refreshment we need like whatever the co-curricular activities like uh, not even for me even for my uh, juniors or uh, the future kids i would like to say that uh, please do follow their talents if they'll uh, follow their talents and they'll uh, uh, do it in, in their hobbies even they'll get uh, a bit refreshment for them and they'll study well uh, with that so painting is my uh, passion so for the people who are aspiring to be physicists, who are uh, who want to grow in this field, as a topper in physics, what is your message to them? Uh, my only message is to understand the topics. Uh, don't try to by heart it. Like it's it's of no use. Even if you'll write the exam, you'll you'll do the derivations, and then right after you'll step out of the exam hall, you'll exhaust it. You'll forget it. It's it's of no use. Just. Uh, uh, try to understand every topic because it's physics is really flawless if you'll understand it and you'll uh, understand and try to practice not only like reading uh, whatever you read you try to uh, write it and practice it without saying so and, and also for juniors and i would like to say uh, they'll prefer to read question papers like mm previous question papers if we'll read this much it's enough now uh, whenever we'll seniors are there their only question is ma'am if we'll uh, study the previous question papers is it enough to pass so i'll say if you want to pass and you if you're not passionate about it you can go ahead uh, if you're lucky you'll get the same questions or else you're not uh, my uh, like what i want to say them is just study the topics whatever how much ever you can you cover it it's not like no one has failed the exam like everyone are failures we have to fail uh, like uh, face the failure also so don't be afraid just for marks don't study it's my suggestion yeah thank you asma thank you for being with us today and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors and surely we would like to see you excel in this field and achieve whatever you wanted yeah. thank, thank you for being with us today thank you so much we were speaking to asma banu a topper in msc physics she shared her insights into her remarkable journey we wish her all the very best for her future endeavors and surely we would like to see her excel in her field thank you this is alia amreen for karnataka muslims